Be what's going through your mind? Was that something you kind of plan on doing as you were starting that playoff? Um, yeah, you know, I'm a big shot taker and a big shot maker. Um, I've been doing that all my career. And, you know, I got a lot of confidence in myself. So I seen the shot clock running down has uh, eight seconds. And, um, you know, I went to what I, what I, what I normally do. Um, and it went in. So. Another big play was at the uh, end of the first half when Q hit that dunk. Was there any sort of momentum changer for you guys? You know, when you came out, you had two quick uh, baskets after that. What was that moment like? Yeah, we went in the locker room and we told each other that um, this is not Maryland basketball. Uh, you know, we um, went at each other a little bit and talked about it and we got it all off our chest and then we came out and we were ready to play. What, what exactly did you feel like in the first half wasn't that Maryland basketball you're looking for? Um, we weren't defending at a high level. Um, you know, it was a lot of miscommunications out there and um, a lot of switches that we missed. And, just, it was just a lack of communication on, on our part. And we're, we came out in the second half and we fixed it. Did that contribute in any way to the struggles on the offensive end as well? Um, no, we're going to make shots. Uh, you know, that's that's never a struggle. Um, I have confidence in everybody. And everybody has confidence in me. So um, making shots is not, not something that we really think about. We know the ball is going to go in eventually. So that's we're not worried about the offensive end. What does it say about this team that you guys had those struggles, but we're still able to come out with a win tonight? Yeah, we're um, very tough and resilient. Um, we got a lot of older guys that have been in college basketball um, for a long time. And, um, you know, when it comes down to it, we never questioned that we were going to win or not. We just um, got in the huddle. We all talked, and we was just, just trying to control the game type of thing. And how big was Q in the first half with the offensive rebounds and the stick backs kind of keeping the game where it was until the rest of the offense caught up? Yeah, that's who Q is. Um, Q is a big time player, and I feel like every time he gets the ball down there, he's going to score. Um, you know, he's a big time player. We have a lot of big time players on the, um, on this team, and, you know, it's just, it's just what Q does type of thing. What do you think was the biggest adjustment or improvement in the second half? Um, just the defense end. I feel like we competed more. Um, GW came out to play, ready to play. They made a lot of uh, uh, shots over contested hands. Um, this is something that we just live with. Um, just trying to make it a little bit harder in the second half. And that's what it came down to. And, and you're a guy who's from that league. I mean, is there, when these, especially these local guys come back to play here, I mean, you know what it's like. Is there a sense of, like, wanting to kind of make make a statement when those, those guys come here? Oh, yeah, they, they came out ready. <laughs> and um, we weren't really prepared for it at first um, of how aggressive they were and how they came out with so much intensity. But, um, you know, in the second half, we matched their intensity and we um, took it to another level. Thank you, guys.